My people, my people. <laughs> oh, Miss Trudy, don't break record. Oh. Miss Trudy, don't break record. Oh. This kind of uh, vacation, eh? oh my God, I think it's the latest. It's the latest oh, on YouTube. This Miss Trudy, eh? you are just too much. Eh? Hmm. Look at that woman of 90 something years old. Miss Trudy's grandma. Miss Trudy took that woman out, you know, for a vacation, on a weekend vacation. She has made that woman to be a young woman, eh? <laughs> Are you doubting it? Are you doubting it? Okay, see it. Look at her. Can you see her and her grandma? Her grandma of 96 years old, if not more than. Oh, my God. You see, eh, Miss Trudy is too much. I know she's going to do more, even for her mother-in-law. I know. She has started it. This Miss Trudy, eh, I don't remove cap for you. Wademaya really, you know, got a nice wife there. Hmm? Wademaya, eh? Hmm. This your, your wife is too much, oh. She fly the woman, put her on a aeroplane for the first time in that woman's life. Maybe Miss Trudy just sat one day and then she, as she was wondering and pondering, she remembered that, ah, my mother, my grandmother, I know that woman, she has not entered plane before. Let me go and surprise her because now I'm married. I'm going to live with my husband in Ghana. And uh, my, my, my grandma lives in another country. I'm not going to be, you know, close to her again as I, I used to. She will be, you know, missing me. So let me go close to her. Let me go and bond with her before I go to live permanently with my husband. Because if she goes to live with Wodemaya permanently, her yes, it's once in a year she will go to visit her parents. So she decided to, you know, take her mother, her, her grandma, you know, out for a weekend vacation. I think that is the highest gift, one of the highest gifts a child should give, you know, to her grandma or her grandfather. You know, for her to have had such a thought in her, she's a woman with a, 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 a heart of gold. Miss Trude, Miss I know that eh, you like adventure. Oh, my God. And the, that thing, the taking your, mom, your grandma, you know, for that week, weekend uh, vacation, eh, is going to, to prolong that woman's life. If that woman is going to live for more than oh, 10 years, in fact, she will be there in the next 20 years. And, uh, you know, she will feel loved. Your, mom, your grandma will feel loved. You know, she will know and know that, oh, I have loved ones. She will always be happy. Even without you, when you go back to Ghana, she will not forget you. She will always have your memories, wherever she is. And she will always wish you to come by, you know, to stay with her, to visit her. Anytime she hears that you are coming to visit her, she will be happy. I like the thoughts, you know. You didn't go for, for young girls, you know, of your, I mean, your friends. So that you go and flex on weekend. Oh, you have really tried. May God continue to bless you, Miss Trudy. Your children will do the same for you. That is sure. Your children, eh? As you're going to see your grand grandchildren, eh? Your great grandchildren, you see them. And they will do the same for you. This love you have shown to your grandma. The smile, eh? That smile you put on your on your on your grandma's fa uh, face, eh? It was more than trillion. I'm telling you. You know, I saw that woman laughing. I saw her happy. I saw her flexing. Your grandma was flexing eh, at the beach. I was so happy. You know, you did you did well, Miss Trudy. God will continue to bless you, my dear. But Miss Trudy, I want to tell you that this gesture which you have shown to your grandma, will keep you happy, always. 
throughout your life because anytime you remember it that even when your mom or your grandma passes on you will still have that sweet memory of her how you took her to beach how you took her to swimming pool how you took her out you know on a weekend for a vacation that we continue to keep you happy throughout your life and it will give you you know more vibe you understand it will make you more happy you'll be happier when you remember it is very 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 happy because even as uh, when your grandma passes on you will know that oh let me just be calm. I will not cry too much because I did my best for her when she was alive. For you to have your grandma alive is a golden gift from God. I'm telling you, many people don't have their grandmother alive. Even uh, at the age of 96, most people's grandma and grandpa, you know, have passed on. But your own is alive. It's a thing to give God all the glory. Okay, it's not of your own making, it's not of uh, your grandma's making, but that is how God wants it. So, Miss Trudy, I have to say, God bless you for putting smile on your grandma's face. There is a saying that, uh, you know, they said, behind every successful man, there is a woman. And also, the, behind every successful woman, there is a man. <laughs> so, my, uh, without uh, Wodemaya giving you that permission to take your, your grandma, you know, for a vacation, you wouldn't have done that. So I have to say, Wademaya, thank you. Thank you for allowing your wife to take her grandma for a vacation. A grandma of nine something. My dear, you would don't break record. On I don't break record, eh? Oh my God. Eh? See how on they behave like Americans. This is uh, Americans in Africa. Uh, in the real sense of it, no African, I mean, it's rare you see African people that will, you know, take their, use, uh, I mean, uh, spend their money on, on, you know, for a vacation with such a woman at 90 something years, that is 90 something years, 96 or more, you know. Huh. You have done what many Africans wouldn't do. So, my people, it's real. So, May God continue to bless you and your wife. Eh? You people will see your grandchildren, your grand great grandchildren, and they will do the same for you people. Okay. Thank you, Wademaya, and your uh, your wife, Miss Trudy, for putting a smile on that woman's face. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Myself, my uh, my my grandmother died. I mean, uh, the, uh, the mother to my mother. Uh, she died when we were still small, so I did not enjoy her too much like that. Okay, so if you are hearing my voice now, my people, eh, my subscribers, my fans, if you have a grandmother, I beg, pamper her, pamper your grandfather. Not only grandmothers, so grandfathers also need to be pampered. And the, you know, it was easy for. Miss Trudy to take that woman, you know, for a vacation because the woman, even at 96 or 90 something, she is able to walk. But there are uh, grandmas like that at that age, even 80, that they cannot walk. Maybe they have problem on their legs. So if you have a mother like that, a grandmother like that, what you need to do is to take care of her, either paying for her medication visiting her buying the things she needs and so on that is still okay it doesn't mean that if you have a grandma you must take her for a vacation and you know no it doesn't matter so what matters is that uh, you have to try the best you can okay do the one you can pamper them because it's good to have a grandmother it's good also to have a grandfather it's good also to have mother. Pamper your parents, whether you, either your, whether your grandparents or your grandmother, pamper them. Whether your own parents, pamper them. All of them need your care so that at your own old age, 
your children, your grandchildren still will take care of you. Okay, my people. I just say make I share with two people, you know, this kind of gesture which uh, Miss Trudy did for her grandma. So continue to be good to your parents, to your grandma and your grandfathers, so that that old age too will reach you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my people, for watching. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you have done so, thank you very much for being there for me. And if you just came across my video for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Until my next video, this is Mama Egwe, you saying bye.